Okay, we're back. Cleaned up a little bit. Um, this one is, um, someone asked if, if I could do a video of that swiping I did. And um, I don't know if you um, went to my Instagram uh, page. And yesterday I uploaded um, a, a white and blue one where it was only swiping the blue. And it looked pretty. Uh, maybe I can show you on my phone. Let's see if we can do that. I think so. Yes. Let's go to mine. There it is. Let's see. See that? This is um, just white and uh, a little bit of blue, but it's the Golden Fluic Acrylics. And uh, someone asked me if I could um, show them how, how I did that. So I guess I'll... Um, this is not going to be uh, a pretty canvas, it's just the experimenting, okay? And while I'm at it, uh, if you guys... I'm pouring on the white. And in this white, uh, it's the same deal. It's um, pouring medium, uh, white Amsterdam acrylics, titanium white 105, and uh, silicone. So I'm spreading it a little bit, give it a nice undercoat. And you can already see, let me see if I tilt it a little bit. You can already see that there's silicone in there. Can you see the little dents? Yeah. So then what I did was with the uh, blue, uh, it's the Tello Blue Green Shade. I put a little drop on the white. Yes, and then I put on, this is the uh, titanium white without the uh, silicone, so let's try that first, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I just cover it up, and then give it a little swipe, see that, and that's really all what, all what I did, all the, um, that golden color just pops right through. It's nothing more than just that. And I don't think it's um, torchable. Let's see. Nope. Because when you start to torch it, a really a little bit is coming through here. I'll show it to you up close. But if you torch the blue, where there's too much blue, it just turns the shit, you know, really fuzzy. So this this piece over here, that is um, that is nice. But when you torch this, where there's a lot of blue, it just turns really jagged. I don't like that. If you have cells, you know, I think you should just have the really nice cells, nice and round. And I heard uh, some people trying this uh, after uh, I showed them. But what you have to do is um, you have to swipe pretty fast. It, you, can't, you can't swipe like this. See it? It won't work. You just get a total long line. If you're doing the swiping, you got to swipe like this. See? Whoop. Up come the cells. So I'll show it up close. This, the bottom part here, that's where I swiped real fast. So it all has to do with the speed. And um, you have to practice really hard. I'll show it again. So you have to practice a lot with uh, swiping. And let's put another color in there. Let's see if we can... Mix some colors and then we put on some white. 
Wait. 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 Okay. And let's swipe again. See it? If this is um, the uh, effect you're going for, all you have to do is um, use um, two, two cups of titanium white one you put the silicone in one you don't and you just use the golden fluid acrylics not the high flowing but this one I've never used the high flowing I don't even have high flowing acrylics but if you do that and you swipe it you'll get some pretty nice effects the thing is with this swiping another thing you have to, um, I think it, it's good if you, before you start, you have, have the whole thing in your head, you know, exactly where you're going to swipe, where you're going to put the color, because if you just wing it, yeah, it's going to be like this, like totally not nice to look at. And you only get that much swipe time, because then all of a sudden it just turns gray. And then it's not nice. See that? There's totally nothing happening now. So you don't have much time to... The blue still comes through a little bit. But that's about it. See? The red does nothing anymore. Doesn't even come through. Now let's try that with um, first the, a little bit of silicone white, put that over here, and let's do that with the brown, because sometimes I really like those cells, sort of lacing cells. Let's see if we can do replicate that. See if it's clean. Hold it up close so you can all see. See, it just reacts differently. Just some holes coming through. And it doesn't matter how you do it, they're just holes coming through. And the um, only thing that I like is this part here where it has the dark uh, circle around it. But it's touch and miss with this stuff. So let's try some more because this is only experimenting. Put some color in there. Let's put a touch of green in. So it goes green. And I'm gonna put the orange in there too. Who knows what's going to happen. And this is usually what I do. I do one or two pours and then I go over to the uh, experimenting. And usually I don't show it to anyone. But I thought why not put it on YouTube. Some people might like it. It's, um, it's opening up a little bit. And I bet it's uh, really torchable. So I'll show you the torch. In. Yeah. It, it, it would be nice, uh, you know, for a little bit of the canvas if you did it like this. But not the whole canvas. Because that would be really ugly. And now I just want to do one more experiment. So put it over here. And I wanted to do that with uh, nickel azo gold. I li really like this color. 
and put a couple of drops uh, in one line. Then a little bit left of the silicone white. Put it on top there. Yep. Clean off the palette knife. And one swipe. Yeah, that's nice. See, that's what I like. See how that, that works? That's really pretty. Now if there was enough paint on there, I could tilt it and it would get bigger. But there's not enough paint on there. But that's pretty. Don't know if you can really see it. And I think also it has something to do with this uh, this quinacidrone. Quinacidrone. That's on a couple of colors of golden uh, fluid acrylic. See this one too. Quinacidrone burnt orange, nickel azo gold, and this one too. Quinacidrone magneta. So they have some sort of additive in there that really makes those cells pop and I've got a lot of it on my palette knife as you can see okay one last experiment because I was looking a lot at the um, the paintings uh, Arthur Brothers does if you don't know Arthur Brothers, you should check him out because he is the master of this type of painting and he has his own website and he's on Instagram too. You should really check him out because he, uh, he really uh, knows how to bring those cells out. So I've got a thick layer of uh, white. Then I'm going to put in the um, Azo, Azo Gold. four drops and I had some sort of a brown color at least I thought I did this one I can try okay and then again some white that is beautiful but I want some more. It just comes through. That's nice. And now I'm trying to make them bigger. And make them drop off the side. Because that's really cool. And there's not enough cells over here. Yeah, that's nice. I'll just show it doesn't matter if it dinks around the camera. See how it comes down off the canvas? Like really big cells. It's nice. So that's something to think about. I guess. And this stuff you can swipe uh, a couple of times. And I'll just torch it to show you if it's torchable. Uh, a little bit but that's probably because there is some silicone in the in a little bit of it not in all of it okay well that was um, the experiment of the day I guess or shall I just dump all the paint on there I know you guys really like to uh, see me waste a lot of paint. 
So like I said, please. And one wheel. And we're going to put it on top of there. And just let the paint come down. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Hold it a little lower for you guys. This is nice and dark. I bet you that's going to be some really cool lacing. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. The inside of my cup looks better. Isn't that always the deal? So we'll put some here, there. Come down here a bit. Okay, let's blow on it a little bit. Then uh, we'll fix the corner a little bit. Another corner here. Too bad I can't have some music in the background because um, YouTube then just blocks your uh, videos if you have music on the background. Don't want to do that. torching. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. That is beautiful. Can you see it? And a little bit down here. And I'm not going to be torching all over because I think I'll just keep it like this. That's more than enough. Oh, wait a minute, I see some big ones in the middle. Okay, they popped up just by themselves. Okay. That's some nice lacing. And I just thought I'd leave the bottom don't torch right here because then it gets all busy. Whoops, almost dropped it. Well, that was it. Taking off the gloves and thanking you all for the very kind comments you all uh, put on my videos. I really like you doing that. Makes me feel really happy. So thank you all and see you next time.